Freddy with Freddy Can Fly and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at how to remove and replace the ring on your nitro engine piston. Um, essentially the, with, this, with this particular item here um, it is something that is replaced frequently. Um, it does wear out with usage. Uh, and there are a couple of other issues surrounding it. Example, if the ring gets stuck. So it's a compression ring. And uh, let's say, so this is a brand new piston here. Um, so let's say you have a brand new one or, or even a new ring. You'll notice that, that the ring is kind of, it spr springs out a little bit. It's not a completely tight fit. And that's because when we insert it into the liner, it's going gonna, it's gonna to squeeze in there and it's going to create that nice tight seal. And then once you heat up and you break in the motor, the parts are going to run and they're going to they're going to heat up and they're going to mate together and you should have a nice seal. Now, as time goes by, if this gets old, you got to replace it. Uh, if it ends up getting jammed in there and stuck, well, now you have no compression. You got to replace it, uh, so forth and so on. So, if you want to be able to successfully remove the ring for reuse, let's say we're just doing a maintenance and we're doing a cleanup, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, if your ring is broken or busted, well, hey, screw it, we're putting a new one on, so just, just peel it off or do what you got to do. Uh, full disclaimer, do not use metal on metal with anything that comes to your motor. Don't don't use a flathead screwdriver, don't use an X-Acto knife. Well, X-Acto knife you might get away with if, if you've got a real steady hand, um, but I don't recommend it because scraping and scarring the metal can cause um, issues or lack of performance or anything around there. So. Um, I'm gonna, what, what I want to do here, so first of all, we're going to get ready to take this ring off. Um, the, the tool that I'm going to use, guys, is a zip tie. A little black zip tie. Most zip ties have kind of that tapered uh, end that doesn't have the notches, right? The end that's going to go into the zip tie. Um, I use this. This is the only tool I basically use when it comes to removing the, 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 the piston ring, um, the sleeve liner, things like that. And, and in my deconstruction video, I showed that um, in case you guys want to go back and look at it. So the goal here, we have a specific goal in mind, and that is to cause no damage. So let me see if I can get a, a good zoom and keep us in frame here. Now what you're going to want to do first, we've got our piston and everything removed out, is you'll notice that if you, let's say if you hold the, uh, the piston, the orientation that it would go into the motor, and we look at the face of the of the piston as a clock. So, you know, up up here would be twelve o'clock, down here would be six o'clock. I'd say right at here at about the eleven o'clock position, um, you have a pin that goes into the uh, the piston, and you'll notice that there's a gap. Let's see if I can film the gap here. You'll notice that there's a gap on the piston ring if you guys can see that okay that gap is very important because there's a pin there and obviously when this compresses down that gap closes you know over top and I'm going to show you what the actual ring looks like so that's going to be our starting point okay so look at your 11 o'clock position find your little gap where your pin is at and all I'm going to do as gently and delicately as possible guys this is like this is like holding your, your your newborn baby for the first time you have to be that gentle okay um, if something seems off or something's not working stop try a different approach okay but what I'm just gonna try to do is I'm just gonna try to get my my zip tie uh, that little tapered into my zip tie and just kind of pull up the ring a little bit and then what I want to do is kind of you just want to kind of pop the ring off ever so slightly Let's see if I can keep this in frame here. Okay, and then once you get it off, all you're going to do is very slowly work it around. Okay, don't force, don't don't budge, but you just kind of slowly work your fingers around, and eventually what will happen. Actually, what you can do another trick you can do too, so you can see I've got a little bit of the ring off, is go ahead and slide your zip tie right under there. So now I can, I can almost hold my position, okay? And then I'm just going to kind of, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use here? Navigate this around the circumference, right, of the ring here. So let's just kind of slowly move it around, slowly. And go slow, guys. I cannot stress to you how important that is, okay? So I'm going to keep going here. Make sure we keep everything on this end up. And you might find, okay, so on the back end here, Kind of came off just a little bit. 
So here we go. Again, it, it's, it's a bit of a process, guys, but I want to film the whole thing for you here so you can see that I'm actually doing it and I'm not just getting off, off camera and pulling some funny movie magic or something. So keep going, keep going. Nice and slow. This is no rush at all whatsoever. And these rings are kind of hard to find. I mean, some places stock them, some don't, but... Um, Breaking one is not necessarily something I like to do. So now that I've got enough off, I'm going to go ahead and pull my zip tie out. Okay? Because I've got enough leverage now. You can see that my um, top part of the ring is off. So now I should be able to just kind of work around. Gently and gently and gently. Come on, you bugger. Sorry for the silence, guys. This is always a, it's an intense method. There it is. Okay. Ring is off. Pop it right off, just like that. Okay. So here we go. Got the ring off. No damage, right? We didn't, we didn't break it. We didn't split it. Um, and all I used was the zip tie, okay? So let's go ahead and do a quick visual inspection. That's kind of a, that's kind of a big part. Visual inspection of the ring. It's kind of hard to see, I know, but the ring looks to be in really good shape. Again, it's brand new, so it should be, at least I would hope so. Um, what I have usually found is if the, the ring is like a black, okay? If it's silver on the outside, like it's been, it's been scraped a lot, um, again, as it wears down, you're going to start to lose compression, so you're going to need to replace it. Um, sometimes if it, the motor gets gummed up, right? It'll it'll stay in spot, and then you got it. I've actually run into several times when I went to take one of these off, it just breaks, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. But usually, if I've got the motor taken apart, I'm re replacing the ring anyway. So there we go, guys. We've got our our ring off. Everything was good to go, and so now let's talk about how to put it back on. And essentially, it's going to be the same thing. So old ring, let's get rid of it. Boom. Let's get our new ring out of the package. Go around um, the piston, of course, make sure everything is clean, make sure uh, you don't have anything that's going to obstruct the pin. Now, we're not going to need the plastic on this one, um, but what is very important is that pin, okay? So again, if you look at this as if it were to be sitting in the machine, and you find your 11 o'clock position, which is going to be here, or again, you can see that there is, it almost looks like a hole. Um, little pin. Let me focus that. Come on, baby. There we go. See that little pinhole right there? That is very important, okay? Um, and actually, you'll notice on the ring, the way the ring fits is you've got that little gap. But do you see how the gap has, like, ears above it? Let's see if we can get it here. It's such a small piece. It's got those little ears above it, right? Those little ears that are that are that are sitting above that. Again, they're going to close over that pin. So, um, the best method that I found for this is um, find our pin. Okay, let's find that eleven o'clock position. It's right here, and uh, I kind of set I set the the, the ring kind of upside down for a minute, and I line it up. And I know that it's going to sit right there. Now you can, one thing you can do, uh, a good friend of mine gave me this tip, um, is, is you could take a black marker and mark the face. That way you know where it's at. I, I don't really need to do that. I just, I feel like it kind of takes up a little bit of time. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to line this up where it needs to go. Okay. And then flip it over. And then I want to make sure that this sits where the pin is. Okay. Now here comes the important part. Gentle as a newborn baby, okay? We're just going to slowly work this ring back around. Uh, and again, it's kind of like, uh, uh, what's the method I'd want to use, or the, the terminology I'd want to use? Um, like when you seal the lid of, of like a, a Tupperware, right? You know if you start in one spot and you seal all the way around, eventually it goes pop once you get back. That's kind of what we're going for, right? So we're just going to slowly seal around very, very gently. Very, very gently. Make sure that the ring is in place and seated. Keep going around. And eventually it'll pop into spot. There it is. Boom. Okay. Popped right into place. Now that it is popped into place, you should notice that 
the ring is loose enough that you can you can rotate it though right it shouldn't be so tight on there that it's stuck into place so give it a little rotate make sure everything is free on there uh, and then one thing that I like to check actually so is I, I, I get my piston liner uh, it's gonna be a little bit different when we assemble the motor itself um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my piston liner out and uh, I'm gonna find where that pin is See if I can get it again. You can see right here where the where the the gap is. Come on, camera. Okay, you see the gap there. Um, I'm just gonna kind of compress that down a little bit with my fingers, and then just take the end of my sleeve and let's just see if everything fits in there the way it's supposed to. Okay, and it does. So look, we know that we've got nice good compression on there. And this is, this is pretty dry, guys. Usually your parts are going to be very well lubricated. Um, you can use oils that are, that are recommended. Um, I usually just put a couple drops of my nitro fuel on there, to be fair, and, and that usually lubes it up really well. But So there we go. We have now successfully replaced the... Oh, let me see if I can get this back off here. Boom. Okay, we've successfully um, removed and replaced the... Um, the ring on the piston so now our motor should have brand spanking new really good compression and everything should be good on there guys now take in mind again very frustrating task to do just be very careful be very very gentle this is now ready to be installed into the motor um, and uh, all I used for it was zip tie so I hope this was helpful guys again replacing the ring on a piston uh, in particular this was for an OS 55 but this should apply to just about any nitro um, product out there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, feel free to comment and subscribe. You can reach out to me via Facebook Messenger if you have any questions or concerns as well. And as always, remember, my friends, that Freddy can fly, so can you.